What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I just wanted to start out with a uh, start the new month out coming up with like a new weekly video about uh, two different indie games uh, of the week. Uh, just like quick overviews, not really big reviews, but just quick overviews of videos just to support the indie game developers out there. Uh, for those that have been following me, you know that I love indie games. I find them to be more entertaining because the uh, developer focuses more on gameplay than storyline, in my opinion. And it's fantastic. And first out, if you don't recognize this game already, this is Hero Siege. Uh, I found it on Steam for $4.99 on sale. It's originally $9.99. Uh, it's a hack and slash uh, roguelike hack and slash RPG game. It's absolutely fantastic. As of right now, there's only local co-op. Um, and this is arcade mode where it's just waves and waves and waves of enemies, gold. Just about anything you can imagine. There's about, I think, seven to eight different classes you can play. Um, as of right now, this game is not finished. The developer is working on adding online gameplay. There is already achievements in game and on Steam. There is trading cards. Uh, it's just, if you haven't played this game already, it is so, so addicting. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of watching my gameplay now just so I can describe some things. But uh, this game is so addicting. It's both very mean and uh, very fun. I've been playing this game. I've owned this game for maybe four days. I put in about 17, 18 hours already. It's just it's just crazily addicting and you're gonna love and hate it. The, when you're first starting out these guys' powers, enemies' powers will kill you instantly and it's gonna make you so upset but you're just gonna keep on playing and playing and playing. Um, every six or seven ways you'll find a boss level and uh after each boss level you'll usually find like a what they call a relic on the ground relics are either pets that follow you like you can see the little fetus I have following me you can see the black uh, angel looking item there um, it's like eternal life it's more like a cross but, you know uh, but yeah some some items actually give you like big stat boosts like plus uh, 50 to damage plus 50 to attack speed 50 to health some actually will take stuff away from you but make you stronger in the end um, also throughout the game you'll find that uh, crypts appear dungeons appear these you'll find statues that appears um, some statues say holy if you play this game make sure to collect the holy statues demon ones on the other hand there's a pretty I think there's a pretty high percentage that you will find that it will hurt you more than uh, more than help you. So if you're if you like to gamble, uh, you can go for the demon statues. The first three that I picked did uh, bad things to me for my character, so I'm staying away from them. But I'm not really of a gambling man, so that's that's just me. So I'll leave it up to you. Um, also, you're going to find enemies. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you probably saw Nautilus already from like League of Legends. He doesn't grab you, but it's pretty cool. Um, I fought Annie. Um, right now, I'm wearing Razor. Razor headsets right now that's dropping beats and music notes all over, which damages enemies. Um, yeah, this game is just fantastic. If you like games like this, I highly encourage you to go support the developer on this game he is very very active on the forums as am I there's a bunch of us talking about ways to improve each character um, just just jump on support the game talk to the developer he loves to hear what you have to say um, changes are being made daily um, right there that was the talent page um, the page that you also see popping up is when you acquire gold you can buy temporary strength for your waves until you die. Um, also there is a potion there for 7300 which you should always get. It will refill your health instantly. Um, just know that throughout this game when you pick up a potion it's going to start off with a question mark as you can see. That means I haven't used that kind of potion yet in the game. Um, well not in the game but in the set of waves. Um, the potions like that red potion there right now means full health because I just bought it from the store. Um, but 
if I was to die and start the game over uh, wave one that red potion may be something completely different and so you never really know again it's a gamble um, so it's up to you if you want to use it but all in all go get this game if if you're like me I want to play online and that's what I'm waiting for I have a bunch of friends that would be interested in this game that uh, are just waiting for some like two player I actually bought a game this game for a colleague of mine on my uh, team speak uh, team speak clan and uh, it's uh, it's ama it's an amazing game he's so addicted to it he yells at me all the time for me buying him the game um, but then he loves me at the same time it's like I said before it's so addictive but you're gonna hate it and you're gonna love it at the same time you're never gonna stop playing it uh, but yeah enjoy the rest of the gameplay for this one there's probably about a minute and a half left um, and then stay tuned uh, a minute later I'll have another game popping up and uh, you'll see what it is right Alright guys, up next out of the box is Forge Quest. Uh, I believe I bought this game probably a couple months ago. Uh, I'm a big fan of voxel RPG games like Cube World, Minecraft, uh, recently playing Trove. Um, so I went ahead and I purchased uh, Forge Quest when I heard about it. Um, at first this was a super, super tough game. Um, there wasn't really much you could do. Um, I was constantly dying from just level 1 bees, as you can see, but I'm level 9 now. Um, but literally, just one attack from a level 1 bee was just killing me in two hits, and it just became too impossible to play for me that I only put in a couple of hours of gameplay. I got really upset with it. I didn't, I didn't really want to play it too much, but... Uh, now that I'm back on it and trying it again, uh, it seems like a lot of stuff has changed. Uh, I can easily kill enemies. Um, I'm finding a lot more loot. Um, I'm leveling up. Dungeons seem to be easier. There's a lot more puzzles like this one that I'm working on now that I've never seen that puzzle before. This was in an update. Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting game. It is co-op online. If you do have friends that like to play this kind of game, it's a dungeon crawler. Um, you're just going into constantly different places and uh, fighting different enemies. It's 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 interesting. Um, probably not as exciting as uh, my Hero Siege video, but uh, it's, it's what you got right here. Um, as of right now, you see those little colored uh, minerals in there. Those you mine, and it opens up a game like Bejeweled, and you basically play bejeweled and anything that you get like three or four of in a row that becomes something that you can craft with um, after killing enemies you uh they they drop some sort of loot i just i found a ring of health regen um during this gameplay you're probably not going to see it but it didn't do any health regen for me i was quite upset I'm like what, what is this no health regen nope um, this game needs a lot of work. Uh, as of right now, it's really, it's really weird going through and looking at inventory and trying to do things. Um, but if you're interested in just laid-back games where you can relax and just enjoy yourself in a voxel RPG that's not like any of the other ones, this game would be for you. Um, I would recommend you at least giving it a shot. But always give indie developers some money. But uh, other than that, uh, stay tuned for more videos. Make sure to subscribe. 
And uh, in the meantime, have a good day, and goodbye.